Greetings. Welcome to C Programming Tutorial. I am Fahim. We'll continue the whole tutorial on YouTube. Today we will know about the programming language C in detail. C is a mother language. It is initially developed by Dennis Ritchie between 1969 and 1973 at AT&T Bell Labs. Now we are going to learn some terms which will be very much effective in learning C programming. Translator program. A translator is a programming language processor that converts a computer program from one language to another. Translator program is divided into three parts, assembler, compiler and interpreter. Assembler, a program that takes basic computer instructions and converts them into a pattern of bits that a computer's processor can use to perform its basic operation. Let's move to next slide. Compiler. Compiler converts human language to machine language taking whole instruction. Interpreter. An interpreter converts human language to machine language taking single instructions at a time and it is the difference between compiler and interpreter. Usually computer take the whole instructions you are given to them, but interpreter doesn't. It takes a single operation, it takes a single instruction to do and converts human language to machine language. So let's move to next slide. What is source program? Source program. The program written in assembly or higher level language is called source program. What is object program? Object program. The programs translated into machine language is called object program. Now we will learn what is algorithm and flowchart. Algorithm, step-by-step -step procedure of calculation or work is called algorithm. The picture you are seeing, it is an example of algorithm. Here the step-wise the programs are written and this is one of the example of algorithm. Here the procedure for calculation of factorial number is given. So next move to the next slide. The next slide is our flowchart. A flowchart is a type of diagram that represents an algorithm workflow showing the steps as boxes of various kinds. Here is an example of flowchart of a program. The picture you are seeing on the presentation is one of the example of flowchart. So moving to next slide. There is a box below which will help you to know about flowchart diagram. Moving to next slide. Okay, so there are some uh, backlash character which will be very much effective for you like slash n, slash t, slash b, slash r. You will know about them in our next tutorial classes. So moving to next slide. How we will study? In every tutorial, we will learn everything sequentially. Besides, we will learn how to write algorithm, flowchart, and to program in IDLE. Then we will give you self question, uh, self examination question SEQ for self assessment, which will help you to bring self confidence in you. Also, we will provide self examination question solution for confirmation of answer, which will be very much effective for your better learning and for going up your self confidence in learning. Learning C programming. So again, next move to next slide. In the next class, we will learn how to code in IDLE. The full form of IDLE is Integrated Development Environment or Integrated Development and Learning Environment. There are many IDLE, but you will what we will use Dev C++ to start our coding of C program. You may also use code blocks. For so the end today our tutorial the end so from the next class we will teach you the process of doing C programming. Thank you